those who know nothing will have. Those who know you will have by my life and honor, I shall protect you. Is coming. My little baby keeps growing. You desire an audience, and what do you offer? New food is coming. New food is coming. Ah. Ooh, the color and clarity are phenomenal. The general has asked me to protect you. Not that you need it. Don't worry. My flames will never hurt you. You desire an audience. And what do you... New food. <sighs> the color... The general has asked me to protect you. Don't worry. My flames will never hurt you.
So beautiful. Wisdom accumulates and develops just like tree rings. You're not even worth getting up for. <sighs> Time for work again! Ready! Charge bravely for the Divine Light! Sir Lucius, at your service!
What's this? A bonus? Thanks. Needs a little pick me up. The most beautiful flowers can have the sharpest thorns. Like someone needs a little warming up. Voice of the Flowers.
Are you lost? Follow me. Beautifully. Those who know nothing. By my life and honor, I shall protect. By my life and honor, I shall protect. You desire an audience, and what do you offer? New food is coming. Ooh, the clan, Mary. The general has asked me to protect you. Not Don't worry, my flames will never hurt you. At your service.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. The experiment was a total success. everything down? Oh well. was a total success. Fly, my beautiful flame. Divine shield protect me! The experiment was a total success. Fly, my beautiful flame. Sorry, did I burn everything down? Oh well. for me. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! was a total success. Fly, my beautiful flame. Sorry, did I burn everything down? Oh well. for me. The experiment was a total success. your fill, my children. <laughs> the experiment was a total success. was a total success. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Divine shield protects me! Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Eat your fill, my children. <laughs> the experiment was a total success.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Eat your fill, my children. your fill, my children. <laughs> the experiment was a total success. Your fill, my children. <laughs> well, victory is deserved. Come out, my servant, and fight for me.
Don't worry. My flames will never hurt you. You desire an audience. And what do you offer? New food is coming. Ah, come here. Don't worry. My flames will never hurt you. You're here! I hope there is no trouble on the road. I'm looking into the bandits around here. Did you encounter any on your way? I chased them all the way and thought they all retreated. Some of them must have slipped by me. Well, here's the odd thing. The Heroic Order receives several reports a week from Northville, mostly about bandits or gruglins. The villagers are miserable. By comparison, the area around Southville isn't that much better than Northville, if not worse. But the Heroic Order never got any of their reports. Isn't that strange? Around here, Gruglins are more aggressive, and bandits are more numerous. But no one reports anything. Either the Gruglins and bandits are so bad that they wiped out all of Southville's villagers and left no witnesses, or... Southville follows Lord Franz's orders. They dug up their wheat fields and planted grapes instead. Now their lives are peaceful. What a coincidence. The nobility all have their secrets, but Lord Franz's secrets seem just a bit more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Valen, but can we go talk somewhere else? 
You do smell the horrible stench coming from the cave, don't you? Yes, I do, Miss Hammy. So, but wait. You don't mean that you want to go in there, do you? That cave smells so bad it could knock out a gang of Gruglins. My dear Miss Hammy, I'm afraid you are right again. Everything points to this cave as the source of the stench and the whereabouts of the bandits. I've come this far already. I need to see it through. Sometimes it's better to rip off the bandits quickly. Come on, let's hold our noses and march right in. Okay. If Chippy and Valen are both going inside, then so can I. There's nothing I can't endure for the Magister. Uh, let's go. me. Just saying, we don't sell ripoffs. masks. The smell seems to be coming from over there. Hmm. Even though they smell like they haven't been washed for a decade, some of the masks have very fine patterns and feel quite well made. Yes, it's a shame some of them are damaged, or they'd have fetched a good price. Don't be so surprised. Some collectors or researchers like these kinds of things, but you won't get much for damaged ones. But I've got a strange feeling. You know that those bandits like to bully the weak, but they wouldn't have provoked the Gruglins for no reason. They're no pushovers, after all. Although it's hard to communicate with the Gruglins, there are loads of them, and each one is as strong as an ox. But look at these masks. They can't all be hand-wrapped gifts from the Gruglins, right? Mr. Valen, didn't you say that, despite so many Gruggling camps nearby, there were very few reported attacks in Southville? Could Lord France have paid the bandits to deal with the local Grugglins and keep Southville undisturbed? That's it, Miss Hammy. That's the only possible explanation. Hiring mercenaries requires a contract, but by hiring bandits, Lord France could deny all accountability and even accuse them of stealing his property. That's actually ingenious. If that's really what he was up to, I might have to change my opinion of him.
poster. Look, these bags all have the same pattern on them. But it's not a decoration. It's the family crest. Yes, and it's the crest of our cocky friend, Lord France. Correct. These are money bags that Lord Franz and his estates used to settle their accounts. What are they doing here? Did the bandits rob Lord Franz? Are all of these stolen? No. If any of his gold was stolen, Lord Franz would be knocking on the doors of the Heroic Order and asking Valen and the other knights to catch these bandits. I think I've got it. The bandits didn't steal the money. Lord Franz must be paying them to leave Southville alone. No way! If that's true, then the bandits are being paid by Lord Franz! Wait! You don't think he ordered the attack on Northville? That's gotta be it! He ordered the bandits to leave Southville alone and attack Northville because they weren't giving in to his demands. That's why we seldom received reports from Southville. However, this is all still speculation. It's a big cave. Let's keep looking for more clues. Coincidence running into you here, Rowan. How's your business venture going? Not great. The Southville villagers won't talk to an outsider about the Gemvine grapes. I've got to think of something else. When I was looking around, I discovered that the Gruglins and Bandits are no fewer than in Northville. It's strange that Southville still managed to ensure their harvest, even when surrounded by so many enemies. It might stink in there, but it's not dangerous. Lord Franz and the bandits may have colluded, but our discoveries have not amounted to any conclusive evidence. I see. No wonder the steward of Lord Franz's manor assured me of everything. He guaranteed that if I were to acquire gemvine grapes from Lord Franz, the trade route would be undeterred by incidents, such as the bridge malfunctioning or miraculous fires. Speaking of which, you all probably know that the wheat yields in Northville have declined due to the cold weather. However, grapes tolerate the cold even worse than wheat. So surely the gemvine grapes would be affected. I asked Lord Franz's steward about it, but he just told me not to worry, because there would soon be enough fertile land for a better harvest. Perhaps? Lord Franz started the fire in order to purchase the wheat fields in Northville at a cheaper price. I see. Do you know why I wanted to come explore this cave? Actually, the Heroic Order did receive a report from Southville a long time ago. A villager mysteriously disappeared. Everyone assumed he'd been killed by wolves or gruglets. But our investigation showed that he happened to be the one person who was most opposed to Lord Franz planting grapes in Southville. After he disappeared, Lord Franz's grape venture developed quickly. He made a lot of money, and gradually all opposition in the village vanished. As far as I'm concerned, Lord Franz had something to do with the fire in Northville. We still need to find definitive proof. About that... I've arranged to meet Lord Franz later near the vineyard in Southfield to discuss our future business venture. As I said before, I just want to open up new trade routes and acquire profitable goods. That's all. So, with us, it can't be a negotiation or even altruism, but... Yes, a mutually beneficial cooperation.
unbreakable! A fight. And this beautiful field is the work of Archmage Merlin. She once cast a protective spell here, so our crops thrived. So, this place is under Merlin's protection? Cold, dark, empty. This place doesn't feel right. This can't be Merlin's magic. And you are? I'm Cassidy, a simple mage. Hmm. Help! Someone help me! <gasps> These Grublins are crazy. Well, victory is deserved. Oh, thank goodness. If you hadn't saved me, I'd already be digesting in their bellies. Let me introduce myself. My name is Lawson. Hang on, Lorson. Are you saying they were about to eat you? Absolutely. They were even sharpening their knives. Gruglins are carnivores. Their diet only consists of herbivores smaller than themselves. You clearly only fit one of their criteria, Lorson. Hmm, there has to be a reason for their abnormal behavior. How about we show some concern for the innocent little rabbit here? After such a long journey, I haven't even had a drink. Hang on, look at all the grapes here. A few of these would do. Hold it right there! Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so sweet! These are amazing! Oh, something's not right. My stomach, it hurts! Oh, it's bad. Help me!
Is he still alive? Oh, well, you tell me. Is this poor bunny gonna live? He's in fair condition, but most likely some type of poison. Initial symptom was fainting. His complexion is presently rosy. Such a quick reaction. Are you sure it's not fake? Unconfirmed. Could be related to your constitution. This requires further study. We need to investigate this more closely. Please, sir, could you give us a bunch as a research specimen? Not a chance! Lord France, why don't you eat a bunch right here and prove it's okay? Ridiculous. I'm under no obligation to prove anything to you. Lord France, I swear it's just for research. Once we have the results, I'll make a special mention of you in my thesis. Someone, get these gibbering lunatics out of my sight! your fill, my children. <laughs> well, victory is deserved. Hmm. <sighs> Don't try to escape. Strange. Something's not right. Ah, young Master Rowan. I'm sorry for letting these louts disturb you. I'll make them pay. I'm not talking about them. I think these people from Southville, I've seen them somewhere before. How could that be? Well, I'm sure you're just a little confused because you were scared. Well, you uncivilized rabble. You will pay for this. Everyone, please come here. Abra! Kedabra! We've arrived! How are you all? Fine! Uh, just dizzy... and... Uh... <coughs> Ew! Don't vomit on my skirt! Wonderful! If it's only vomit, then it's fine! Only vomit? And it's fine? Hmm. Lady Mage, are you saying you've seen worse? Actually, teleportation magic isn't my strong suit. It needs precise positioning, but I don't really know my way around here, so sometimes there may be small errors. Um, if I may be so bold, these small errors you mentioned don't include death or decapitation, do they? that serious I've repeatedly verified that at most a limb or an internal organ may be lost but it's all easily fixed if promptly dealt with please tell us about this sort of thing in advance next time hopefully there won't be a next time Magister I bet you know just the thing to treat the side effects of teleportation magic don't you There are lots of herbs nearby. They can be made into medicine that can make everyone feel better. Just leave the others to me, Magister. 
I'll keep an eye on them while you go gather the herbs. Don't worry. My flames will never... The general... <sighs> you desire an audience. And what do you... Being a noble is always being on top. New food is coming. Come here. I am Entendre, an exile. Keep training to keep growing. 